And we're back here on the PB&J uh, Posh Free S Radio Show. Here to talk about um, times we thought we were going to die. Um, so like we were saying before the break, we said, or I think I said, um, times where you've thought just in your brain and you just said, this is it. I'm gone. Said your last prayers. The only thing that didn't happen, two things that didn't happen before, after those last words would be, uh, one, you didn't see your life flash before your eyes, your eyes, and you didn't die. So that's how you know you didn't die. Also, you're alive right now, so you're not dead. But um, sadly, <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. I mean, uh, yeah, gladly, gladly. So, what are your uh, near death experiences? Who's going first? Uh, I got two. I'm trying to think. I got them. All right, I'll give mine. I, I I can't think of a lot in my head, but. <laughs> When I was in, like, eighth grade, <laughs> we, we all lived in the same neighborhood, me, Rob, and James. And yeah, I, don't I was playing Manhunt. Yeah, sh- uh, I, don't, I don't know who's showing this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I was playing Manhunt in front of my friend Joey Eastwood's house. And it was, like, the middle of the night. And I decided, like, I'm being chased by one of my friends. And I decided to run straight into the street. And I I run right into the street and turn. I just hear a screech. And turned around, there's a car literally, like, touching my leg. And then oh, I, I was like, I'm about to get hit by a car. Like, really <laughs> yeah. and, and then I'm fine. And the guy gets out of the car, like, he's about to chase and me. Then, and, like, and then kills And, like, you. he's in the game, man. And he, he literally just wants to kill me. And I was like, holy shit. I'm, 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 yeah. I, I, thought, I thought that was it. So you had two near, <laughs> two thought, near thought, death experiences. One was um, almost getting hit by a car, and the second was, really came one, when the guy one, got out of the car. In one experience, it was, it was a, it was a bang bang. We're gonna go. I'm, we're, we're gonna talk about guys getting out of cars. I'm gonna throw us back a little bit. We used to. Uh, <laughs> our friend Felipe had a gorilla costume, right? It was a really, it was really, it was, it was movie quality. It was. This was a good gorilla costume. Planet of the Apes quality. So, so what we would do was, we would, uh, we we do ding dong ditch, but um. We would, we would. Whoa, don't, everyone, don't everyone, self-incriminate yourself. Everyone would, yeah, you, know, uh, you know, knew uh, people. A friend of mine, <laughs> I know, I, I know a guy who uh, told me the story, and they would, um, they would ding dong ditch, but everyone else would run, but uh, the gorilla would stay. <laughs> he would stay on the front porch, either, you know, uh, uh, harassing the mailbox or, you know, oh. just kind of pounding on the, you know, doing the chest pound. Yeah. And um, classic. So yeah. one time, my friend and some of his friends were, uh, you know, all. On the get up and um, monkeying around, <laughs> we <laughs> horsing around. We knocked on our friends, our, our friend's door. Let me guess, <laughs> the guy went bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so now we get we get down the block, and uh, no one comes out. So now the gorilla is like, "All right, fine." The gorilla, were you in the gorilla suit? No, uh, oh, yes, 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 I was. Actually. <laughs> I mean, Who? I mean, no, uh, no, my, no, no. my was friend, your friend was. Yeah, yeah. So now I mean, we're hypothetically. Uh, speaking. Yeah. So now, uh, now the man, the the father comes down. Uh, in his car, and <laughs> we see the car start, and we like, uh, we got to get out of here. So now, me, uh, no, I mean, uh, my my friends hide behind some bushes, and uh, the car spots sp- spots them, and uh, he gets out of the car, and uh, grabs one of the kids by the collar, <laughs> and starts yelling at the kid, and here it's, and then he goes, um, um, my dad's a cop, <laughs> and the and the, and, and sure. the father goes, I don't care but a lot nastier than that <laughs> so at, at that not point, so many words at that point i go oh man it's that's the one that usually works yeah no that's uh, the, ooh, the, my dad's a cop uh, i have a son yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. i saw the, the guy that the guy that the guy that was chasing them around grabs one of our friends and yells i have a son <laughs> <laughs> should have put a banana guess, peel on the floor the was gonna <laughs> beat them up <laughs> And then, all right, this one, this one, I'll do, I'll do it really quickly. Uh, it involves someone else in this room. Um, we were at a uh, a little get together in a in a Whitestone, New York, in Whitestone, Queens, and um, look at me. So our friend, uh, our friend got well, uh, almost about to fight somebody because he took too long in the bathroom. Uh, Justin <laughs> Alonzo, he has to learn how to, you know, quicken it up. But uh, so now we we leave that party and we accidentally left behind uh, a guest, Rob Bo, and. Um, so now yeah. we're what a friend. We're getting a ride home, and I'm uh I'm you in know the trunk. It, show me what a real friend looks <laughs> I'm like. In, I'm in the trunk, and now me and Rob start uh me and Rob start arguing about. We get to the fisticuffs. Yeah, yeah. We get to, so now Rob, Rob, uh, Rob puts his hands on my neck, and I go uh, 
do I hit him? I go, I go, I can't, I can't hit my friend. I don't want to. Yeah, I wasn't gonna hit you. I was just, <laughs> I, wasn't, I was just playing wasn't. around with you. Like, I, like I was, I was very, very pissed off. But like the thing, the, what basically what I did to you was I grabbed you by the neck and took your head and just started it was, pushing it into the glass yes, it was, because it's the same thing I would do to my brother. I would never hit my little brother, but like I want to do everything I can to like put get it through your head. Like I'm mad at you. Yes, That's yes, what I want. <laughs> Does it make you feel like a man that you were his near death experience that he had to share on this? You were so, so I go manly now and as, as, I'm, like a God. As, I, as I'm thinking about it, I go, I, I can't hit him. I, and then I go, wait a minute, I'm getting I'm getting my head put up against the yeah. side of the car. I go, whoa. <laughs> was like, whoa, whoa. That was All right, I have a funny one. <laughs> I mean all right, it's about my father. Um Yeah. <laughs> um, so we got a like one of those pools like one of the like the uh, bigger like inflatable pools you know what i mean yeah so we got one of those this summer and like um like me and my dad were playing around with a medicine ball i was seeing who could take it out of the pool and throw it higher so like safe yeah it's not safe at all <laughs> so like that's what we were doing and then i was throwing it higher than him because i'm just more f- i have a tremendous physique and yes. So I'm doing that, and he starts getting mad. So then we start, like, pushing each other and stuff like that. Just guy stuff. Guys being dudes playing around. Just a bunch of sweaty men in a pool messing around. In bathing suits. Yeah. Um, so, like, I'm, I, like, have him in, like, a uh, the old chicken the chicken wing choke. And I'm really putting it on. I'm really choking him. And then he reverses it and takes me, and I'm under the water. And he has me in a headlock under the water. And literally in my head, I was like, that's it. I'm done. This is it. This is the last day I see. I'm going to die in this pool right now. And then I literally came up. I was like, (laughs) but I ended up being okay. I'm alive now. Here we are. I guess that's the end. Here we are. And what about you, Sean? You got anything? I can't think of any. There's definitely been times where I've thought, like, I honestly thought this is about to be hit, but I just don't remember when. So I don't know. Loss of loss of oxygen might have helped that. Been, there's sitting, been sitting, sitting. I mean, I've had experiences operation. like every single one that you said. <laughs> Either almost drowning, almost getting in a big fight. You know, just horrible situations. But uh, I don't know. Okay. All I know is if I was in that car, I would have knocked you out, Rob. <laughs> Just be, just you know, it's just I, I gotta do it. Uh, I don't know. You gotta do, you gotta do. Back to me, bro. I would have knocked you and James out at the same time. Quit it, you guys. All right, so quickly, um, cut it out. You knock it off. (laughs) Quickly, we're gonna do a uh, thirty-second sports segment. Uh, there's a, there's a football game on Sunday. It's called the Super Bowl. It's uh, really good. There's two teams playing. Uh, the a bird uh a bird of prey facing seconds. off against a the birds of war. The yeah, birds of war facing off against a, an American hero. Ten seconds. Uh, so who's taking this one? Falcons. Falcons. I think Falcons. Probably the Patriots. Tom I want Grady's the Falcons. Got a legacy in the Super Bowl. Yeah, I want the. Falcons win, but I'm gonna give it to the Patriots because they have Tom Brady. They're probably gonna win, but it's I feel like the Falcons like, should. It's win. like the Patriots, like I'll call the two Giants Super Bowls. Like I don't know what happened, but luck. Brady is too good in the Super Bowl. Yeah, and when the Eagles. Oh wait, no, they never been in the Super Bowl in my <laughs> lifetime. Oh, the uh, Eagles Jeez. played the Patriots. Thank you, Sean, in the Super Bowl. And they lost. Or they should have won. Yeah. T.O. played on a broken leg. That was a great game. <laughs> Shoot. We're just waiting yeah. on them. I'd, ra- I'd love to see the uh, Falcons win because it'd be like it's always the Patriots in the Super Bowl or the Steelers. Uh, the Falcons uh, never won the Super Bowl. Little fact for you, birds of prey are not successful in Super Bowl games. Think about it. Ravens won. The Seahawks won. The Seahawks and Ra- okay, that's the Ravens won. three. <laughs> Think about all the birds of prey that have played in the Super Bowl before. The Ravens, right? They won, right? The Ravens won. The Seahawks won. The Eagles have not won. The Ra- uh, Falcons have not won yet. What other birds? Seahawks are have lost. They have they to have the lost, Patriots. All right, also. let's see. Maybe, maybe they're not good against. Okay, against animals. Seahawks. Animals of prey in general do not fare well in the Super Bowl. Well, the Seahawks lost when they had Hasselbeck and Sean Alexander too. And, okay, that's two. Think about animals of prey that have played in the Super Bowl. Panthers. Lions. Lost twice. The, have the Lions, the Lions even? have never won a Super Bowl. Yeah, no. They've never even been in a Super Bowl. The Jaguars have never been anywhere. Yeah, you're right about this. They made it to the Super Bowl. They lost. We'll see. We'll I don't see. trust animals of prey are in the Super Bowl. Are, are Vikings animals. considered animals of prey? Because they've never won either. They're men. They're Scandinavians. Men are animals. <laughs> yeah. We're all animals. 
Listen, Joe, we're not getting into this whole evolution <laughs> talk because <laughs> I know that's all that's you. For another all right. You blabber around, you <laughs> liberal. Enough, you liberal. For this you know what? <laughs> you get, it's your right to talk about what you want, but you're not going to push your liberal agenda on me. Yeah, all right, listen. I have a brain. I use Facebook, all right? Fake news. Take yeah, it down the road. I saw it on Fake news. I saw it on Facebook. All right, Charlie, take it down the road. fake. All right, we're going to listen to a little bit of music, and it, we'll be back with uh, Weenie of the Week, first Weenie of the Week of the new year. Uh, you're listening to the PB&J Apostrophe S radio show here on WICR. <laughs> 